So there's a little bit of debate in the community. Some people go on the side of going orb firewall. They think that's the best because they have to quote unquote deal with the immunities. And on the other hand, you have people who want to go strictly cold, go blizzard with the supplemental damage of the single target of ice blast. Now we're going to take a look at both of those today and see which one is best at which areas to farm. In Diablo 2 Resurrected, I'm going to take a look at some of the most common farming locations in the game and compare how each one of them does. Let's get after it. Alright, enough for comparing these. I'm going to use essentially the same build. I didn't want to have one with way different gear and way different type of stuff in order to get that more damage or more kill speed or whatever. I want to have the same really, 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 really good sorceress gear, but it is kind of the generic kind. It's not tailored specifically for getting maximum cold damage or maximum fire damage, depending on which build we're doing. So for, for, first of all, I'm just going to, it's not a full build guide, but the, I'm going to go over the stats and the gear real quick. Just super quick at the start here, just so you know what we're working with. Um, the stats is generally a, a max Vita build, you see. Resistances are maxed out. Don't really need to look at any more there. For the gear here, we got Oculus. We got Spirit, Shaco, uh, Serpent Skin Armor here, the skin of the Viper Magi. Uh, Mage Fists. We got an, a Stone of Jordan and a Raven Frost. A Gold Wrap, because we didn't need any more uh, CR, you know, for like an Arrakis Mesh or something. We got some rare boots with some resin magic find, and we got a caster amulet up here. Down here, I didn't put in a full skillers or anything like that, because maybe I had more skillers of the cold than I did the fire or vice versa. So I didn't want to do that. It's just a bunch of magic find charms, but the regular stuff, a geeds, an annie, and a torch that, you know, you could have for any character. Now we'll take a look at the skill tree here, and first off, I'm going with the firewall orb sorceress here. So you can see I come down to orb, I get its synergy maxed out also, which is Ice Bolt right up here, that's maxed out, and I got several, I got the remaining points into Gold Mastery, which I didn't necessarily need as many because of what I have on the Mercenary. I have an Infinity, you can see by the gold or the green ore down there. So this is plenty to get the maximum uh, effect from the Infinity and from the Gold Masteries minus to enemy cold resistance that's more than enough on there but um obviously teleport and uh down here uh telekinesis i did not use static because we are not comparing how good stuff works with taking half of the monster's health away with static so we're not going to be using static on any of the locations that we're going and over here we got the, for the firewall we got that maxed out we got warmth because it's one of the main synergies and then down here we got fire mastery uh, not quite maxed out, but I didn't, when you do this dual spec, you don't have enough points to completely max this stuff out. So Fire Mastery didn't end up maxed out, and actually Warmth didn't end up maxed out either. And, you know, down here, you see I only got 8 base points into this. So when you spread the points out like this, you can't really maximize your damage. So that's kind of what you have to do. You have to pick and choose where you end up putting your skill points and where you want to have more damage or less damage or something like that. So I spread it amongst the two because we're going to be farming and trying this out in multiple locations and the main reason that you would do this build is to quote unquote get past immunity so you need to have the maximum maximized damage on both of them so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these locations so we'll go ahead and take a look at cows here um i don't think this is going to be the best cower but who knows go ahead and, and see that's one of the one of the unfortunate things here you can't sh use them both at the same time because of the cooldown. So uh, I guess we'll try wall on a few herds here first. Which works pretty good, you know, pretty good here. And this is just players one difficulty. We ain't going too crazy with it. We'll, get, we'll gather up a few more cows here and drop some more walls. Obviously the larger the herd, the uh, more efficient you could take out more of them at once. But you can't, oh there's fire and cold, don't worry about that one. So it's working okay. We'll go ahead and sh spam some of these frozen orbs and see what it does to cows. It's working okay, and like I said, this was player's one difficulty. We'll go ahead and do a few here. Uh, firewall hitting it. Working pretty good. Um, it's hard to, you know, you can't hit the whole herd at once because it drops in a line. So you gotta kind of hit the ones you can when you can hit them. We'll try uh, one more time on a little herd here. Maybe we'll uh, round up a few extra. There we go. Oop. 
though. It's work. It's working. Okay, you. And that, that, it is really unfortunate. You can't hit the entire herd with the firewall, so you just kind of got to spam them when you can hit them, and then some of them don't come to where you're uh, trying to get. But that's all right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the orb. Gather up a little uh, herd here, maybe in the corner like this. Won't be bad. And we're hitting them pretty good. It's super slow with that cooldown, and then there's no attack in the middle, which is kind of annoying as well. And also, you know, the, the damage isn't maximized as well, as I mentioned a second ago. So this kind of, it just is what it is. It works. It does work. It works okay here in Cows. We'll go ahead and try another area. Let's go hit up uh, Mephisto. Or actually, let's go hit up Antario. Already, we're at Antario, and obviously I'm going to just pretty much use Firewall because she has a really, really large weakness to fire. And I'm assuming it's going to work really great. And then, yes, it did. Firewall is kind of known as an absolute Andario wrecker. So there goes down Andario. Probably super, super, super quick, in my opinion. So Angel Tunnels is another super popular location, mainly for cold. So we'll go ahead and uh, try out the cold down here. They are some pretty weak monsters, so... Let's go ahead and see how this takes out. It's working pretty good so far, um, from my experience for... A blizzard this is players one difficulty like i said once again but yeah it's working pretty good down here um the area of effect is pretty reasonable on it uh the the monsters like i said are pretty weak but really you just need to hit them quick is what is what the main thing is so as long as we're hitting quick here it's working okay um sometimes it, the, the that's the problem with these orbs you have to be the exact right distance when you shoot them to, to really maximize the damage on them. When it explodes like that, that is when you hit it with the uh, most damage that you can. If you're at the wrong distance, you'll still do damage with those ice bolts to come out and hit them, but not as much. Let's go and check out another area here. Now we're hitting a Mephisto, and since there's no weakness to fire, I'm not 100% sure which one to go with here, but I'm probably going to go with the Firewall, just because it's been hitting so good here in Diablo 2 Resurrected. And Mephisto sitting still, you can drop a couple of firewalls and kind of melt Mephisto super quick there. So, um, yeah, that worked pretty swimmingly, I will admit. Firewall really, really good on uh, Andaro and Mephisto so far. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the next farming location here. And now we are teleporting out to the River of Flames here. Now, Blizzard Sorceress is kind of known for coming out here uh, pretty good as a good, uh, you know, farmer out here. Oh, immune to fire. Firewall will do nothing, obviously. So we'll have to hit these and this is just players one difficulty i do also want to mention so uh not the fastest it is working though so that one's down knock some of these guys down you don't have to kill everything we could teleport on but i'm kind of trying to get an example of what it does to uh taking out other monsters here champion over here uh yeah it's taking them out not the fastest thing i've ever seen but it is taking them out that is true Says hit me with all of his cold coming over here. Um, he's immune to cold, so we have to drop the firewall on him, and that took him out in quick order. Now we'll come up at Fort uh, Desace here. Or not Desace, uh, Grand Vizier. Alright, yeah, that, that took him down pretty darn good, too. That uh, frozen orb there. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at Diablo here. And I don't know, I guess we'll go with Firewall since it is kind of that single target killer. So, uh, that little rock here. Players won there. Yeah, it took him out uh, in real quick order as well. Let's go ahead and check out another location here. Now we're at the Frigid Highlands. So this will be, uh, they're all immune to cold, so we'll have to drop the Firewalls. Work pretty darn good on this Players 1 difficulty um, Eldritch and Shank run so far. The good thing about... Oh, my mistake. The good thing about Firewall is that you can drop it directly on uh, right there, Shank. And then when he goes down, he'll take down all the monsters around him with the raining fire or whatever. The animation for that. So, yeah, that works super quick, quick there at Eldritch and Shank. Now we're going to go ahead and hop over to Blizzard, a strictly Blizzard with the uh, synergy of Ice Blast in order to do extra damage on top of the Blizzard. We're going to see how that works at these farming locations. Alrighty, now we'll jump to the Blizzard Sorceress. It's essentially the same stat point distribution, essentially exactly the same gear. And for the skill tree, um, 
we got just one into warmth. We just did uh, telekinesis and teleport because, like I said, we're not going to be using static. We're not comparing how static works with it. You know, we just want to strictly see how these particular spells work. And over for cold, I maxed out blizzard and its synergies. For cold mastery, though, because I have infinity, I only put, uh, I ended up going two points because I liked it to get to that minus 100 while using infinity. Um, that's kind of the rule of thumb that I always heard. I don't know the exact math on it offhand, but um, I actually have 20 skill points remaining, which usually you would put either into frozen armor if you want to go like a max frozen armor to get the, the incredibly much higher defense, or you could put, uh, you know, max out warmth so you never ever have a mana issue in the history of mankind. But I'm just going to leave him off to the side because um, I wasn't using warmth on the other build and uh, I wasn't using frozen armor on the other build. So we don't really need him here. We're going to go ahead and take a look at these different farming locations. So we'll go ahead and compare the, the speed here. It's not going to be an exact scientific. It's kind of more on a feel and opinion of what I'm noticing. Alrighty, now we'll go ahead and hit these cows and see how these uh, blizzard handles it. Blizzard, uh, obviously an absolute cow slaughterer, as we remember. And that's the good thing about Blizzard. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, the firewalls going off in, in random directions. Because there isn't it, just a circle area of effect where you hit everything. And if there is individual ones, then you have the Ice Blast to absolutely destroy. Because see, you can have Blizzard rain down and then shoot the Ice Blast when the cool, cool off runs away. <laughs> when the cool down disappears on the... Um, Blizzard, oh nice find there, wish I could find that uh, on my uh, online account since I'm doing this video on single player, but when the Blizzard cooldown runs away, then you drop another Blizzard, but you shoot these Ice Blasts in the middle to get even more damage on uh, individual targets. So yeah, definitely Blizzard is astronomically better for doing cows than the Firewall Orb is for sure. So uh, this kind of is pretty much determined now, I've got my answer for this particular one. We'll go ahead head and hit the next location. I believe we're going to Andariel. Alrighty, we're down in Andariel here, and she does have that weakness to fire, so we'll see how this goes. I'm not 100% sure how it is going to go, to be honest. Um, wow. A little bit surprised there, actually, because she has the, the weakness to fire, but that was probably faster with Blizzard than it was with the uh, Firewall, so that's pretty surprising between the Blizzard in the ice blast shooting that was actually faster i expected those to be the same or different in my opinion we'll go ahead and hit the next location we're looking at the ancient tunnels now we're down in the ancient tunnels and let's see how this goes here uh, i already know it's going to go pretty good because uh the blizzard sorceress is known for farming down in the ancient tunnels here ooh, ooh, ooh. there's a uh, my bad clicking in nine different locations can't hit what i'm looking for champions down Usually you can just uh, pick off the ch just the champions if you're farming on uh, players one like this. We'll take out a little bit more monsters though than normal, just because wow, everything just pops instantly. It's uh, pretty crazy how good Blizzard works down here. Um, way better than than Orb worked for sure, because that's what when you got uh, more than one like that, you know you can't maximize the damage on either one of them. And this is not a low level sorceress. I'm level 96, though. So. This is not some low-level sorceress that I didn't have enough skill points to max out the things I needed to. But man, yeah, Blizzard absolutely wrecks down here in the ancient tunnels. Uh, no need to look any further on that one. Let's go ahead and hop to, uh, it would be Mephisto now, or actually, let's see how it does at Trav. Alright, back out of Trav here, and uh, Blizzard's semi-known for wrecking Trav, so we'll see how this goes. I didn't exactly optimize my character for Trav here or nothing, but it is... Uh, pretty much wrecking Trav uh, in no time. If I could click on um, a monster, they would go faster, but and uh, Trav's wasted uh, that fast. Not a problem. Uh, I don't need to waste it with me picking up an ID on this stuff, but we'll head to the next location down to Mephisto. And down to Mephisto here, obviously Blizzard's also once again known for wrecking Mephisto. So really these Ice Blasts do so much damage, it's insane. Um, that's what I think a lot of people are missing out on, is the fact that, oh, Blizzard they're just casting blizzards like this and running around and running away. The Ice Blast is, is wrecking 3,000 damage a pop, and it uh, it does a ton. So don't sleep on that Ice Blast when you're, uh, you know, between the cooldowns of Blizzard. Let's go ahead and check on the Chaos Sanctuary. So heading to this, you know, Chaos Sanctuary here, and it's one of the reasons that the Blizzard Sorceress is so popular. 
because in the Chaos Sanctuary there aren't really many fire or cold immunes, excuse me. And you can drop this down. There's only a few cold immunes at all. It's definitely easier, that's for sure, because you don't have to pay attention to being the exact distance away from a pack like I was mentioning before in order to maximize the damage on the attack like you do with Orb. Now, if there's a cold immune, yes, your mercenary would have to deal with it, but really, you just skip them. If there's any cold immune, you just don't worry about it. Drop a few blizzards over here on a huge pack when they get chopped down a little bit lower. Blast away with the ice blast and move on to the next one. We'll hop up here, take these guys out. And yep, A-OK, -okay, super fast. Desace is immune to both cold and fire, so you gotta let your mercenary deal with them. And I usually you would have static, I will admit. But I decided not to use it just to kind of compare. So this is the one downside that there definitely is to using this build. If you come across a, a, someone who's immune to cold, you are wrecked. But he is immune to both cold and fire, I will mention that. So even with the other build, you would also not be able to take out that particular monster. So we'll take out a few more packs here, just because the Chaos Sanctuary is a very important place to farm. It is a very, very good place to farm. So we're going to go ahead and take a really, really good look at this one. Every single character loves farming the Chaos Sanctuary. The monster density, the monster level. It is a very, very, very good place to farm. So we'll take a little bit extra here. Plus, it's so fun to play. Let's be honest here. Boom. Done that fast. Now we're cruising down to Diablo here. And remember, no no static. So we can, we can pre-spam the blizzards to get them going. And then once he's there, we can start hitting him with the ice blasts. Oh, he moved on me instantly. But, no worries. Ice blast him away. So he actually ran up on me that time, unlike he did the other time. But yeah, super quick on Diablo as well. I would say it's hands down Blizzard Torturous wins here in the Chaos Sanctuary. Now, here we are at the Frigid Highlands, and I'm pretty sure I know how this one's going to go. Let's go ahead and take a look. And yep. They are all immune to cold, so essentially nothing. I'm sitting here letting my mercenary do everything for me. So this is not going to be the most efficient place to farm with a Blizzard Sorceress at all. We'll go ahead and there's Eldritch, head down to Shank. And similar situation, they're all immune to cold. Literally everything, so it's a complete zero. No go on Eldritch and Shank if you're going strictly Blizzard Sorceress. I would say that's pretty well settled. In my opinion, the Blizzard Sorceress is way more powerful then the orb wall. Really, there are not that many places where it's really going to hurt you that much not to have that other source of damage from a different element. Blizzard Sorceress is so powerful in the few areas that you can't farm, like Eldritch and Shank. For example, just don't farm there. There's actually even better farming locations. Most of the best farming locations in the game, the Blizzard Sorceress is actually one of the best characters in the game at doing it. It's definitely probably one of the best and fastest all around sorceresses in the entire game at magic finding so i would say dunzo it is over the blizzard sorceress reigns supreme